Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue and I have a what sold video for you for what sold, some of the things that sold in October. And as you know, I had knee surgery and so our listing slowed down, our sales slowed down, but I still have some of my favorite ones to show you in this video. I never show all my sales, but I'll show a lot of my sales. And remember, we're going to play guess the price of what it sold for, what is your perceived value of what my item sold for, and I have a few other video clips to share with you as well, some different things this time. Let's get started. I found this rare Occupy Japan little porcelain Dutch girl figurine with a little basket with flowers at Kay's sale, if you follow those videos. I paid $1 for it and it sold for $15 plus shipping. I do pick up some home interiors and gift items, especially if they're in good condition and they're small and easy to ship. These are some of those wall decor leaves, you know, the metal leaves that they make. This was a lot of three home interiors, also known as Home Co. I think I paid $2 for them and they sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I got this two piece set of Made in Italy three tier candelabras. They are brass, got them at an estate sale. I believe I paid $4 for them and they sold for $29.95 plus shipping. I remember finding these little Japan flying duck wall decor plaques. I found them at the ReStore in Johnson City. I only paid a couple of dollars for them and they sold for $30 plus shipping. Mark found this pretty pink vase. It's a Galway vase. It's Irish. It's crystal pink and has that scalloped rim. Very pretty and very, very heavy. Mark picked this out at the Goodwill. Paid $3.99 and it sold for $39.95 plus shipping. You know, some days when you go out sourcing, you find things and sometimes you don't. Well, we did find a couple of mid-century modern style vases. The large white one that you see there was a little too large for us to, to deal with for shipping, but we did pick up this small one for a dollar. Now, when I say mid-century modern, I mean it has that mid-century modern style. Doesn't mean that they're all authentic though, but this one, has a label on the bottom for Japan, so it is an older piece. And some of the keywords I used are ribbed and draped and pleated, Art Deco style ceramic vase. Paid a dollar, what do you think it sold for? How about $30 plus shipping? I've had this little green elephant in my inventory for quite a while. I think I paid 50 cents for it, but it did sell for $16.96 plus shipping. I picked up six of these gingerbread boy and girl Christmas ornaments. I'm selling them in lots of two and I typically pay no more than 50 cents for an ornament. So let's say I have a dollar into this. Sold the set for $14.97 plus shipping. I remember finding these gingerbread mugs at the ReStore. Absolutely adorable. Very surprised when I looked them up to see what they were selling for. What do you think? I only have a dollar invested and they sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I have a fairly large inventory of Christmas ornaments. I just pack them away in banker boxes and this little Disney 2016 Mickey Mouse ornament sold for $16.97 plus shipping. I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes when I sell something, I remember exactly where I found it. And that's the case with this Santa Claus mug. Let me take you back to that moment. Oh, how did I miss these? Oh, they're in rough shape. How did I miss them? Oh gosh, they are in rough shape. Do I do it? I don't know. Although it's not in great shape, I did sell this vintage Japan Santa Claus face Christmas coffee mug for $19.95 plus shipping. On a rare occasion, I'll pick up a grab bag of things and that's the case with this item. Found these two little goats in a grab bag at the ReStore for $2 and I sold these two little goats. One of them was a Schley, if I'm saying that correctly, and the other one wasn't anything special. But I listed the two together 
And out of the whole grab bag, I probably have 25 cents invested. And they sold for 1995 plus shipping. This Christopher and Banks size medium cardigan sweater sold for 1997 plus shipping. I remember finding these antique glasses at a garage sale. They told me they were their grandfathers and I paid $4. How much do you think they sold for? Would you believe? $49.97 plus shipping. It's uh, probably just all clothing, shoes, purses, caps. We'll take a look. Found these at a church rummage sale. Paid a dollar for the pair, brand new with tag. They're made from deer skin and they're light pink leather gloves. They sold for $19.95 plus shipping. I often put jewelry together in lots, especially earrings. This is a two pair lot of gold toned earrings. I have about 50 cents invested and they sold for $14.95 plus shipping. And here's a quick peek at how I do my descriptions. Quarter for size comparison only, not included. This apartment nine woman size 1X pullover top sold for $16.97 plus shipping. Another find at the Boy Scout estate sale. I sold this 100% wool red beret for $20 plus shipping, paid $2. This is a Sean John men's size 3XL button down shirt, sold for $18 plus shipping, paid $2. Occasionally I pick up shoes at garage sales, I typically pay $2 a pair. This A2 by Aerosols Scenario women's size 7.5, sold for I think you'll be surprised. $39.99 plus shipping. New with tag, basic editions, woman's size medium button down shirt, sold for $16.97 plus shipping. Typically have no more than $1 a piece into my clothing. These are a dollar find as well at the consignment shop. New direction, size 22W Capri jeans, sold for $24.97 plus shipping. A men's button down shirt, colors by Alexander Julian, sold for $19.95 plus shipping. And a woman's top, new direction, size 2X pullover, sold for $15 plus shipping. Time for odds and ends. And I do pick up some odd things to resell. This is a replacement water filter for, from Ice Pure. Bought it at a fundraiser sale for about 50 cents. Sold it for $10.79 plus shipping. This sale is simple, but I'm going to show you how I do my storage and inventory and what helped me find it. This is a new Samsonite Red Security ID luggage tag. It's a two pack. It says on my custom label area that you can do in your listings, you know, custom label. Shows the date that I listed it. Garage BB for Banker Box, Banker Box number two, accessories. Let's go find it. As you can see, I did put a label on the Banker's Box, but I also have a QR code tied to it, so I have two ways of finding it. But I also want to show you that I have a Duck, D U C K, Duck Pack and Track app in my phone that I use with my QR code labels, and I scan the QR code, open it up, scrolling down through here and finding the Samsonite luggage tags, which I then promptly removed because I'm pulling it from the box. And lo and behold, there it is. And I'm going to give you a couple more tips here on how to protect this to just put it in a padded envelope. I wrapped some cardboard, scrap cardboard around the perimeter to help to make it more sturdy. It's kind of like I'm making a little box around it. And after bubble wrapping it, I added a piece of scrap cardboard on the bottom and just taped it on and then put it into a padded mailing envelope. What I've essentially done is protect it from crushing. Now, how much did it sell for? I have about a dollar into it and it sold for $14.98 plus shipping. I sold an eight piece lot of rare vintage mid-century modern square wood cabinet knobs. I say rare because I rarely see, couldn't find any anyway, square knobs and I only paid about a dollar for the whole bag of them. They were in rough condition 
And let me show you here where I stored them. I just have a plastic basket in my garage that I store napkin rings and shower curtain rings and and sometimes drawer knobs like these. And let me correct myself. I only paid 50 cents for the bag of these knobs. Let me show them to you. You can see how rough they are. The edges, I mean, they're not in great shape, but they most certainly can be sanded and refinished. So how much do you think I sold these eight wood knobs for? Any idea? What do you think? $10, $15, $20, $2? What's your perceived value? Would you believe I saw this eight piece rare vintage mid-century modern square wood cabinet knobs drawer pulls for $49.95 plus shipping. Do you believe me now? Simple sells for good profit. Keep watching. There's more. I do pick up sweeper bags. I always try to check comps first. And if they're not real expensive ones, I lot several together. But this was a box of new, new sealed box of 24 Electrolux Germ Grabber Vacuum Filter Bags, Style R. I paid $3 for the box. So you've had time to think about it. How much do you think this 24 pack of Electrolux Vacuum Filter Bags sold for? How much do you think? How about $39.95 plus shipping? Would you have picked these up or would you have ignored them? And here are some more sweeper bags. This is a four count lot of four Gary, not Gary brand, but four Gary vacuum cleaner bags. The four count bag cost me $1. A lot of four sold for $12.95 plus shipping. And another lot sold for $12.95. And another lot sold for for $11.65, so not too bad. I can't have a what sold video without showing ink cartridges, right? This is a Kodak New Sealed Ink Pack Combo of a black and a multicolor. The box had wear. On this one, we did pay up for this, probably too much, paid $10 at ReStore, but we got our money back. They sold for $34.95 plus shipping. This little drawer pull or escutcheon, two and a half inches, not very large, paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale, and it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. I bought a lot of three of these vintage Art Deco bubble glass hobnail ceiling light shades at a garage sale. Three for five dollars. There was a white, pink, and yellow one. I have $1.66 into it. And this yellow one sold for $40 plus shipping. And another ink cartridge sold. It's an HP 74XL black ink cartridge and it expired in 2013. But it still sold, by the way, we paid a couple dollars for it. It still sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Mark and I were on our way to the checkout at the Goodwill store when I spotted this KitchenAid ice cream maker stand mixer attachment. So we took a look at it. It was $5.99. It's in a large box, but I measured it. Yes, I carry a tape measure with me and I knew I could fit it into a 12 by 12 by 12 double box it. So we picked it up for $5.99 and it sold for $38 plus shipping and it sold fast. This is a Federal Depression glass pink Sharon Cabbage Rose pattern dinner plate. You see the letter A at the bottom? That's a condition code that we put. We did a listing with three different conditions or three variations. And this one is the best condition and it sold for $19.95 plus shipping. This one, condition B, was the next best. So the price was a little bit lower. Probably have a dollar each into these plates, if that. And this one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. This creamer and sugar came from a little church store. I have about a dollar into it and it sold for $29.95 plus shipping. Pickle containers, Tupperware pickle containers. I thought these were going to be worth a lot more each when I first was seeking these out. I thought they were going to be a bolo, but I think the market got flooded. But I did put this two count lot together. I have a couple of dollars into them and the two sold for on offer $26.95 plus shipping. 
This is one of Mark's finds at the Goodwill. This is quite a few months ago. M. A. Hadley Pottery. It's a horse. It's a stoneware cereal or soup bowl. Got it at the Goodwill for I believe two ninety nine, and it sold for thirty five dollars plus shipping. Nice sale. What I love about the restore is you just never know what you're going to find. We were about to leave, and and I spotted a tray of these items that had not been put on the floor yet. Did a little quick research and found out it was pretty valuable and they put a price on it of only $15. So I was pretty excited about that. We we're like, yes, we will get these. So I have less than $3 invested in this Mikasa salt and pepper shaker set and it sold for $20 plus shipping. Sometimes I pick up single glasses just because I want to research it and find out what it is. I have about 50 cents into this vintage LG Wright pink glass mirrors and roses pattern little goblet and it sold for $21.21 plus shipping. I paid $2.99 for this nut bowl at the Goodwill. It's made by Rogue River. It's myrtle wood. I've been picking these up whenever I see them. Now we did add the tools to it. We pick up these nutcracker tools whenever we find them, clean them up, and hold on to them until we need them for something like this. So we matched up a set, and as I said, it only cost $2.95, and we sold it for $29.95 plus shipping. It wasn't too long ago that I found this two-count lot of France La Rochere Reservoir Absinthe glasses. Absinthe is a liqueur. Paid only $1.99 for the two, and they sold for $18 plus shipping. I found these vintage Homer Laughlin Fiesta light pink coffee cups at a garage sale. In fact, and Wanda, one of my subscribers, and you met her in one of my videos when we were both shopping the Goodwill, I picked up three pink, I think a blue and a yellow. I saw the three pink. By the way, what did I pay for these? I think I got five for, I don't know, what was it, $7? I can't really remember, but I saw three of them for $24.95 plus shipping. And I do like picking up glass items, vintage glass items. This is a seven count lot of Made in USA 10 ounce Pyrex number 464 custard cups or ramekins. You probably would pass these by if you saw them in a church rummage sale or in the Goodwill. I got them at a church rummage sale for $1 for all seven and they sold for $20 plus shipping. Would you have picked these up? I found this six count lot of Falls Graf Everyday Sparta White Bowls. You can see they have a design to them. I found them in a small church store in a small town. Paid $1 for all six. How much do you think they sold for? Any idea? How about $49.95 plus shipping? This is another great example of simple sales for good profit. But keep watching, there is more. This is another recent Goodwill find. I paid $3.99 for this Anchor Hawking Sereno, Sereno, however you want to pronounce it. It's an aquamarine turquoise salad or serving chip bowl. This is one of the large bowls, 11 and a half inches. I didn't do a pack and chip on it because I wanted to make sure it arrived safely. And so it did. And next time I have something large like this, I'll, I'll do a pack and chip on it. But again, I paid only $3.99 and it sold for $30 plus shipping. I could have put this item in the oddities category, you know, the odds and ends. Bought a whole bunch of these, as you see, at the Goodwill. This is a new Veggie Bullet Thick Slicer Blade. Brand new, but it had some box wear. Put the word replacement in the title. I paid $1.99 each for these, and this one sold for $14.95 plus shipping. And this next one is two sales to one buyer, a six count lot and a seven count lot, a vintage anchor hawking clear bubble glass dessert or berry bowls. Pick these up at the Goodwill. I have about $5 invested and the combined order sold for $53 plus shipping, $23 for the lot of six bowls, and $30 for the lot of seven Anger Hawking Bowls. And I'm sure you remember these Frank Oma dishes that Mark found at the Goodwill. 
I love it that he's involved in finding things to resell. We got a lot of several pieces. We decided to part them out as replacement. Paid $4.99 for all that you see here. The Francoma butter dish sold for $25.46 plus shipping. And these three bread plates sold for $24.95 plus shipping. I think the only thing we have left are the two tumblers. Let me look here. I'm looking behind me on my shelf. And I think, yeah, we got some coffee cups and some tumblers yet to sell. A really good find for only $4.99 for all. And I guess it was a 12-piece set. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. I'll see you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Simple sales for good profit.